So now it is time to quilt the chain reaction quilt and I have a couple ideas of what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna look for a thread that I have in this kind of like tan color. I think it'll just be a nice neutral. I'm sure I've got something, if, tan, if not tan, I've got like cream colors and stuff. Um, then I'll allow the dinosaurs to kind of still stand out and everything. I did think about doing my dinosaur pantograph, but I feel like there's already so much going on with the dinosaur print that I should kind of like tone it down a little bit. And I think I'm gonna use my pantograph that's called Malachite. It kind of looks like a topographical map kind of thing. So it'll just add some, some texture in here. I feel like I've done it on something recently, but at this point I've done so many three yard quilts, it's hard to keep track of what I've done. And as far as backing goes, this is what we're gonna do. So remember I got this and used it in the Stellar quilt and I got enough of it to do the backing as well. I think there's four and a half yards here actually. Might be able to do two quilts. Anyways, so I felt like the colors on the front of this with the dinosaur spots were a good um, complement to this. So this will be nice on the back and then it'll bind up with the green right next to it. So I think it's all gonna come together. So I'm gonna piece this back together and then load it on the long arm and we're gonna get to work. So everything for the quilt is all basted in and good to go. I had a little bit of shuffling through to find enough of a thread that would coordinate. And so I went with this one, it's called Pearl. So Pearl is gonna be what's quilted on here. And then here is the Malachite pantograph. So I enlarged it so that the height total is 15 and a half, but what that's gonna mean is one of these little squiggles is about seven inches which is the size of this block. So I think it's all gonna size up quite nicely. So I'm gonna get it all set up and we're gonna quilt out a zone and then keep going. So here we are with the first zone and it looks really great. And I had a couple of skip stitches. So I changed my needle and I dusted off my wheels and everything is going smoothly. So consider this your reminder. If you haven't changed your needle lately on your machine, whether it's your long arm or your domestic machine, maybe give your needle a change. It'll make things happier.
I did have to Frankenstein my batting, but I guess I didn't need this third piece Frankenstein on there. So I'm going to trim that off before I take it off the frame because we know Trixie likes to eat the batting. And then we're going to get this all trimmed up and put the binding on, which remember is this bright green color. So let's get that done and have a finished quilt very soon. So the chain reaction quilt is done and complete and it looks super great. I think the binding matching the outside border is exactly what it needs. If it had a different color, I think the triple border would have lost its impact. So there's a peek at how that looks. And I think one thing I would have considered doing if I had known how to do it at this point was doing a facing on this quilt because then that would have allowed the quilting to extend fully to the edge, which could have been cool. And then it would have just been on the back that you would have seen this extra green. Um, I have not faced a quilt before, so that's on my one of these days. I'll figure out how to do it um, kind of list and then take a peek how the backing looks. I think this was a much better backing for this quilt than it would have been for the Starlet quilt uh, or Stellar. Sorry, um, there was just a lot going on in the front of that quilt and having it as the binding and the and the borders and I think it would have just been way too much. So I'm glad I went with a neutral on that one and kind of something fun for this one. So since I have more of that yardage, I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do with it next. So everything pieced together well, everything quilted up well, the borders look great. I love these little triangles. And so now we're gonna go do a quilt drop and then reveal this quilt and then we'll be on to the next one very soon.